this time we decided to start with conclusions. The temptation to buy a rich, beautiful, fast and technically sophisticated car is very strong. But many, unable to control their emotions and faced with a whole bunch of maintenance problems in the process, quickly give up the pleasure of owning a two-door. Needless to say, keeping an Audi in order is worth a lot. Let's make a reservation right away, the period of trouble-free life of this car very much depends on where and how to drive. More precisely, first how, and then where. It may turn out that with perfect maintenance, the trouble-free existence of the A5 will stretch right up to 200,000 kilometers. But this is ideal, but in life. Is the engine chipped? Did the previous owner like fun starts? Did the piston change under warranty? How often did the lubricant in the transmission change? And much more will have to be found out when buying. And this is difficult, since the owners of the A5, according to statistics, change very often, in a hurry to get the most out of the generous not only for emotions, but also for expensive car breakdowns. So, a lot of material has accumulated on A5, so let's go concisely. Do not expect the bodywork to remain corrosion resistant for a long time. The paintwork here is of high quality, but on the first cars, points of illness are already noticeable along the edges of the hood, doors, and on the giant rear fenders. The A5 body is characterized by all the typical coupe ailments, problems are provoked by a low landing, frameless doors, and a high load on the windows, which here have to be changed more often than usual. Interior wear occurs slowly, but electric window motors are considered consumables. Problems can come from everywhere, the gas tank flap motor, keyless door sensors, heater fan, engine mounts, MMI display backlight. And all this is quite possible to get already on a 5-7 to seven year old car. Experts recommend a 240 horsepower 3 liter TDI with all wheel drive and a ZF automatic. Both in terms of dynamics and service, this pair is supposedly capable of delivering the most positive. It is generally accepted that 3.0 and 3.2 gasoline engines, as well as a 4.2 liter engine, are the lot of those who have their own service or a lot of free time and money for maintenance. Not a bad option for inline force with a volume of 1.8 and 2.0 liters with a variator and front wheel drive, but even here you can be trapped by an oil burner, dancing with the tambourine around the timing drive system, chain and oil pump. And it's not cheap and takes a long time. The manual gearbox is a rarity here, but you shouldn't be afraid of the Multitronic, Variator, and even the 7-speed Robot Estronic. They have a comparable average resource no more than 200,000 kilometers without repair. But, as a rule, they do not live up to such figures without the intervention of repairmen. The robot works better with powerful motors. ZF six-speed automatics and later eight-speed boxes go longer, but, alas, they don't set longevity records either. And the principle of selecting a pair of motor, transmission is simple here. The less powerful the motor, the less problems. But in any case, the only thing you should not save on when buying an Audi A5 is a thorough diagnosis with a detailed study of the history of breakdowns, penetration into the cylinders, brains, and other available sources of information. This will really help you save money later. Is it necessary to say that Uncle Vajia should not be allowed near the A5? Any unskilled intervention in an electrician can lead to even greater problems. And there are so many smart electronics here that sometimes even service computers cannot figure it out. In terms of electrical problems, post-styling cars are noticeably less common. However, with the suspension, multi-link front and rear, fans of driving on large low-profile wheels have to fiddle constantly. The problem is the short-lived front wheel bearings, the upper arms and the hydraulic support of the lower arm are at risk. And of course, the ball joint, which usually changes complete with the straight lower arm. But here, again, the rule applies, the smaller and lighter the engine the less likely it is to run to the store for new suspension parts. But there are no problems with the brakes, they can be upgraded quite painlessly. Suspension. Multi-links are considered expensive and troublesome. The resource of parts, although not particularly large, but those who want to save money can pick up non-original components cheaper. They note a low resource of rods and tips, especially for machines with powerful engines and wide tires. Transmission. It's hard to say what to choose, robot or CVT individually for each type of engine, but a torque converter automatic with six or later eight steps is clearly preferable. It ends up costing twice as much to repair, but with the mechanics of all wheel drive, everything is okay. Engine. The current Audi engines are far from eternal as before. 
usually the choice of A5 buyer stops at the force TFSI, maintenance of V6 and V8 is much more expensive. But a 2-liter engine, even with reasonable investments, allows you to remove up to 300 horsepower from yourself. To the detriment of the resource, of course. Body. Without additional anti-corrosive, internal corrosion of cavities and seams will become a problem over time. By the way, the steel pan of the engine is also at risk. The area around the drain hole on inline engines quickly corrodes. Damage to the plastic bumpers often leads to the loss of parking sensors. Electrician. There are no system problems. The wiring of doors, parking sensors, and suspension position sensors suffers due to the low body position. Power window motors and their drive are consumables. Climate may begin to fail after six to eight years. Keyless system sensors on pre-styling cars die every year. Pros and cons. Plus premium in everything, design, quality of finish and practicality of the interior, ergonomics and comfort, dynamics and excellent handling, economy of versions with four-cylinder engines. The cost of the car, maintenance and components, whimsical engines, suspension and transmission life, with the exception of the manual gearbox, a number of unpleasant features of the coupe body with frameless doors.